Okay, here's today's update. This is a full circle of brass, or copper I mean. And notice how close the plate is here. And that's what I thought was really going to be good. Because that's about quarter to three eighths of an inch at the top anyway, and at the bottom about the same. And uh, but watch what happens when I uh, turn it on. Look at the gap difference now. That's how much uh, repulsion I'm getting from the magnets going around. The bottom is still fairly close because the, it has a little more stability on the uh, on the uh, arms that come up from the board. Just a little better shot for you. to do is to hold that plate in the top. I'm going to have to come up with something that's a, a little stiff but yet lightweight. But uh, I'll show you the difference. We've got uh, 86. It varies depending on where it's at. But as, as the plate moves out, you get uh, less heat at the top than you do at the bottom because the bottom is held in closer. Seventy eight, eighty six. Okay. Now that we've established that the amps goes down or goes up I mean when I push on this. You'll have to listen to the motor. Here it slow down. Amperage probably is up close to 10 amps now. But I can't tell you how close I am. That's where I'm at right now. i got to make something that's adjustable. I can go in, uh, you know, like a screw to push against it. So that's where I'm at now. But I thought you'd get a grin out of this. There is the full circle, not with copper tubing, but with uh, just copper strip. Best I can do to get the uh, to get a complete circle, as as uh, TJ and Cultus have both asked. So there's where I'm running at the bottom, about 87 degrees. So as soon as I get closer. It will, it will uh, make a lot more heat and more amp draw. So, just thought I'd give you that. I'm going to make up something. I don't know what it yet, but I'm going to make something up that will be stiff. And then push against it with a uh, set screw so I can adjust the, the uh, closeness of the copper to the magnet. Okay. Okay, here's my fix. Just a uh, simple 90 degree, and then I can go ahead and set this up here as to how thin or thick I got the air gap, and the rest of it doesn't look too bad. However, when I was doing all this, I lost an overhead light fell right off the ceiling on me, so I guess I gotta fix that so I can do some more videos. <laughs> I can't hardly see what I'm doing, so i got to fix the light. So, back in a few. Okay, we're up and running. I have been for 10 minutes, if you can hear me over the noise. And uh, we'll see what the motor is running at. 122. Oh, that's come up quite a bit. 124. And we'll go around and look at the other side.
hard to move around these battery boxes. Okay. Amperage is starting to go up. Well, it's actually pulling right about 10 amps. And the voltage 10.18. So that's where we're at. Just about 100. Uh, yeah, 100 watts is all we're using. All right, that's it for today.